Fellows, AC here, how you doing? You are here to watch a YouTube exclusive review of a knockout budget fragrance. It's called Oud Alal by My Perfumes. This fragrance is an absolutely amazing, amazing GP. And before I go into the review, I'd like to remind you, I mean, I wish I found more. I found some brilliant GPs. This one, does anybody remember? I did a review in 2018. This one is 1881 Cerutti Bella Notte. Excuse me. This one here is my favorite, Amaf Legacy. Such a fantastic rendition of a Chanel Egoist Platinum. This one, yeah? So, this is the third, third of many exclusives I've done, but I'm really fond of exclusive reviews when I'm able to find out a fragrance which is something that will stun you. And this is a stunner, right? Oud al -Lail. Now, my dear <laughs> friends who speak Arabic, can somebody please translate Oud al -Lail. We all know what Oud is. al would be really helpful. Thank you. Now, let's get into the review. If you look at the bottle, there are two oud chips at the very bottom. I don't know whether you can see it. There are two oud chips at the very bottom floating around in the bottle. So when it comes to presentation, look at that. This presentation is what you get normally when you spend big bucks. Uh, for example, Rabin Oud, if you smell, uh, spend money with them, or um, ASAQ, Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. That's the kind of stuff you get, you know, floating about oud chips. And the presentation, this presentation is top notch. And all this for about £12.99. If you look on eBay in the UK, you can get it for £12.99, anywhere, anywhere between £12.99 and £18.99, right? This is immense value for money. So how does the fragrance start off and what does it smell like? Wow, look at the atomizer, it's a cheapy. Look at the atomizer. I can, I can bathe in this fragrance. Oh, this is strong. I can bathe in this fragrance. And I can hardly speak. My God. Wow. Okay. This fragrance smells like mossy, oody, floral. Oh. I'll pause this video if I don't, if I can't speak. Now. This fragrance is structured like a shipra and it's basically a clone or a close representation of Arabian Woods, Arabian Wood by Tom Ford. How do I know? I have a big decant of Arabian Wood and I'll review it soon. And the, the moment I, you know, started getting into it, it, it just reminded me of Arabian Wood. My God. So, how does it start? It starts off smelling like a velvety green. The, 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 the clue to the fragrance is in the color. It's velvety green, the color of the fragrance. The fragrance starts off velvety green. The texture is green velvet, yeah? Supported by a fantastic oud note, no skank, nothing synthetic here. Very smooth and velvety, flows like you know, just velvet, green velvet, which is radiant. The amazing structure of the fragrance is, is basically Shipra, as I said. So it's got lavender, slight soapy, and supported mostly by sort of nondescript citrus notes. It's very bright and fizzy. And you get the moss from the word go, and that moss is oak moss. And that's why oak moss based fragrances tend to divide opinion so it's not for everybody and I'll come to that. So mossy, soapy, floral. The florals are rose and elang lang with slight hints of magnolia yeah when it dries down. So that's the heart. In the base there's oud but when the fragrance starts to dry down you get oris. Fantastic oris. Buttery, smooth and warmth of amber. So mossiness goes down, the buttery woodiness stays, and you have warmth, along with slight hint of magnolia and soapy roses 
and greenness. This is the fragrance. It's beautiful. It's absolute symphony. It's so beautifully made, it belies belief that this fragrance can be had for £12.99. So ups and downs. Number one upside. It's a masculine. It's a pure Arabian style masculine, but made to perfection. There is nothing cheap or tacky about this fragrance. Absolutely nothing, right? The composition quality is absolutely fantastic, right? Number two, the fragrance evolves. You know, you're not only getting a very high quality fragrance, you're also getting a complex fragrance. The Shipra structure is beautifully presented here. It evolves on your skin. It plays, you know, with the notes. You get many notes and this fragrance has amazing longevity. You know, I'm talking about 24 hour longevity. And I don't know why I sprayed four at the start. Maybe because I got too excited. I'm an absolute love of this fragrance. This fragrance is just so close to me. It just speaks to me. It's one of my absolute favorite woody scents. Absolute favorite. You know, I from the day one, the day I got the package from My Perfumes, and this bottle was sent to me by them. If you've seen my My Perfumes haul, you you'll know. The moment I smelled this fragrance, it spoke to me literally. You know, I was like, wow, Oud Al Lila is just amazing, man. I can't get enough of it. I love this fragrance. Performance, stunning performance, you know, 12, 24 hours longevity, 12 hours of constant projection, constant, you know, don't go too heavy, two sprays on your shirt, you can easily wear this on your shirt, although the color says that don't wear it on a white shirt, I don't know, um, but it projects for about good 12 hours minimum, so don't wear it at night time because it will interfere with your sleep, it's very strong. And the sillage is absolutely stunning. I put one spray under my shirt and, you know, I work and move around and I get the beautiful, you know, whiffs of the scent. Such beautiful scent. Very masculine, but not in 70s sort of style. It's kind of Arabian masculine, timeless, you know. But you have to like oak moss. If you don't like oak moss, florals, maybe you don't, don't like florals, but if you don't like oak moss, you won't like this fragrance. So that's the downside. It's got oak moss, a lot of oak moss in it but not a 70s style oak moss. Another disappointment could be, <coughs> potentially, is that this is not an oud fragrance. So if you're coming, approaching the fragrance from the standpoint of an oud fragrance, this is not oud. This is mostly woods, nondescript woods, but it's all about florals, moss, and buttery orris. And stunning, man. The dry down is absolutely mesmerizing. It's beautiful. Now, I've done the downsides, age groups. These sort of fragrances will suit a professional. So 25 plus, possibly well-dressed, you know, possibly in a suit, nice suit, wintertime. Amazing. It's a proper dress up gravity scent. This has a personality. Also, if you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans and you're well chiseled, this will really suit you. What a fantastic fragrance this is. So, seasons. I think this is quite versatile. As I said, mossy dampness with florals and with buttery woodiness. It wouldn't, I don't think it will be a problem wearing it in summer. Bearing in mind, my perfumes are a house based out of UAE. And this is for the local market because this is the budget line. It's called Abayad, Arabiyat, I'm sorry. And that, they can't survive if they make fragrances only for winter. And, and, in Arab, Arabian countries, people like to wear very strong fragrances. In, in spite of it being a very hot country, you can see, I can hardly breathe when I bring my hand close to me. It's very strong. <clears throat> so seasons, I would say, it's pretty, pretty versatile. Evening time, as long as you go low on the sprays, yeah? Because it's got tremendous performance. Compliment factor. I'd be very surprised if you don't get complimented, especially if you wear it right. Yeah, the whole thing is about wearing, about wearing it right, right occasion, the right company of people. Um, I'll be very surprised if both men and women don't compliment you. This is so stylish and so much gravity and so beautifully made. I'd be surprised if you don't get a compliment. I haven't received it yet because I haven't tested it outside. COVID-19, thank you. So, I think I've covered all aspects, haven't I? I have. Value for money, very high. This is unbelievable value for money off the charts for 13 pounds once you spray this you will know that you've got an absolute gem on your hands absolute gem and tom ford woodwood 
if I were to do a comparison, I'll do a comparison later on, but the longevity on Oud Wood is not even half of what you get in Oud Alayal. So Tom Ford Oud Wood is a private blend, so 250 plus pounds, 13 pounds. This is called value for money. So marks are a 10. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I'm very, very tempted to give it a 10 out of 10. But I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because this fragrance, man, this fragrance, you have to try this fragrance. I'm in love with this fragrance. So 9 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.